Shut up, criminal. What? Too busy to visit your fam? No. You goddamn right. I was just giving you space after you got out. Don't need it. Besides, we gotta settle some things. We do. See you soon, kid. Just go see him and get it over with, Mouse. Then we focus on whoever took Lee and Scorpion. Something tells me they're planning something big. Criminals these days. So you don't realize what it takes to be a hero. Uncle Aaron, prison changed him. He's gone. Different taste in the romantic life. You don't know how it is, because only they do. I don't know what I'm talking about. What? We really I heard y'all got Hennessy. Oh. Criminal Thanks. scum. Relax. I'm not trying to get my ass kicked by my nephew again. Goddamn right. Still wearing purple too. Your dad used to give me that exact same look. Disappointed. Kid. Just said I'm gonna have to kill you. Um. Martin Lee. Someone got him out. I know what you're thinking, Miles. This is not on you. We can't let him live up here. It's just another kind of prison. It's not that easy. Never said it was. But sometimes you gotta push the past away so you can make room for the future. That's actually why I call. Oh? Need your help getting something. Of course you do. Could get it myself, but... Parole means Prowler's retired. What is it? Just some old tech I gotta get off the street. Stashed it by a decommissioned Roxxon lab near Central Park. Yeah, I know the one. Are you really You people in stealing... You? I'm taller than him. Getting some. Also, what's? Oh, what? How'd you? How did what's you... with my suit? And Miles. That Lee business. Don't be stupid. Yeah, yeah. Is that like an update thing where my suit actually gets visibly dirty now? <laughs> Oh, I got control. I've heard this dude can turn your brain into scrambled eggs. Leave it alone. Now what else is We just had the conversation. Why are you talking to me? College. Anyone you like? Hey, hold on now. So there is someone. Be damned if I do, be damned if I don't. What am I looking for? Just use your eyes, nephew. Uploaded some prowler code into your mask when I swiped it. Of course you did. The stash stays hidden until it detects the code for my suit. Uh -huh. Last step is to decrypt the key. Give it a shot. Don't cheat. Take your time. Oh, I actually have to like do certain pressure on the triggers. Not bad, kid. That was weird. Another gate. Okay. It's so weird because I never actually had to do certain pressures before. Can't pull it open from down here. Oh my god. How about up here? You're telling me you couldn't do that from down there? It made no difference. Problem. You should be seeing how to get inside now. Okay. Prowler stuff. Hey, um, you made all this? Where'd you get the money for it? What is, what is that? 
What is that? Is that a new gadget? Got it. Is it the auto sucker for my suit? Sucking for what? Don't worry about that. Feel free to keep some good tech in there. Cool. Could definitely use this. Listen, this isn't the only stash. Unk. Whoever freed Lee sounds like my tech is right up their alley. I want it falling into the wrong hands. You're the only person I trust with this. Okay. I got you. Coordinates are in the mask. Thanks, nephew. Don't be a stranger. I wonder what Ma's gonna say about this. Oye, Miles. Me enteré de lo que pasó con el transfer y con... Está bien. Sí, Ma. Todo bien. Está para ayudando a Uncle Aaron with some stuff. Ah. ¿Y cómo está él? Está trotando. Pues qué bueno. Mami, te veo en casa. And before you ask me again, estoy bien. Te lo juro. Te quiero. Let's head out to the city. See what's going on. Maybe even find Lee while I'm at it. One thing I've kind of been thinking about is like the difference of voice. Like, what the hell does that mean? What I mean by that is, oh, hi, JJJ. Man, you would be canceled if it was replaced with the letter K. Just saying, man. So glad that's your name. It's not the other. Anyway. As I was saying. Oh, wow. Parkour. Oh, I messed up. Hold on. Please don't get hit by a car. Thank you for waiting. You're very nice. Anyway, as I was saying, right, I already lost the speed. Difference in voice. One of the things I've been told, and you can't exactly tell with this mic that I'm using right now. I'm just using a normal headset, you know, just one you'd find in Walmart or whatever. The Gen 2 Stealth Turtle Beach is that when I was working, you know, fast food, and I was going to the drive through you know, it's serving a lot of customers and whatnot, taking their orders. A lot of the times, people would tell me, hey, there works on mine, that I got a radio voice. That. And usually, usually when it comes to my voice, I kind of have like, I guess, different ways of talking. So whenever I'm relaxed, whenever I'm, you know, active and talking with people, screaming, this and that so it's kind of hard for me to like set it to you know set it but especially right right now when it's at night and i'm not really doing much i'm just chilling that's when i know for sure Ooh. wait there we go. that's when i know it's like yeah okay i can somewhat tell there's been plenty of time damn i just climbed onto a roof Yes, but I can definitely tell that a lot of the times, uh, Let's see what this yeah, I get it, bassy and whatnot. Someone's watching us, Kimia, but I don't want you to worry. That's my job. Someone was keeping tabs on Marco, and who's Kimia? But again, I think I've gone to eighty something. I'd say eighty-five, just to be safe. But about 85 people, because after five, I started keeping count. 85 people have told me, wow, oh, you got a voice for radio. No and that's simply because, I guess, to them, it's, okay, I'm not going to say to them and try to be humble about it, because it's me. And, still <laughs> gonna, just coming in at 100 miles. Damn, just, oh. Whoa. You also just shot your friend, too. World will be what? You, gonna wet me too? you just got wet. Yes. Still got some fires to put out. Bob. Thank you. I have to bring him to an ambulance. I'll drop you right off. Can I? Lifesaver. No. Thank you. 
We're nearly there. But yeah, one of the things that I've been told many times is that I have a radio voice. I think there's even one person that actually had connections to radio, but I couldn't get my phone out because again I was working, and I'm not very good with names, so I immediately forgot what his name was. They'll take good care of you here. Yeah, I mean, recently I've also been told again. The thing is, though, I feel like with different situations, there's definitely times when it's like, okay, you know, I get that, and there's also times when it's like, nah, nah, it ain't gonna happen. So, I guess it'd be cool if maybe one day I can actually get a good mic, and I don't know, make something off of it. Because what one of the things radio, audiobooks, stuff like that. Yeah. To actually get a good mic. You know, a whole setup. Obviously I wouldn't want that to be the only content for whatever reason that I would make. Oh. Okay. But I definitely feel I can actually do that. It's weird though because maybe I'm being paranoid. But everywhere I go, I see them too. Work. The corner store. In the park. They're tracking us. Marco was really freaked out. Wonder if whoever was following him is still out there. Crime everywhere. It's weird because whenever it comes to voices, I feel like even though you may have like a certain tone, there's always certain voices for certain things. You can't have like an all set voice for everything. I mean, if you think about it, heavy metal, you can kind of make some exceptions. Like heavy metal, you would typically, typically take, you know, like. Deeper voices, rough, rapsy, stuff like that. But then you got ones like Jack Black, he doesn't have a deep voice, but his voice is still amazing for metal. Rock and roll and whatnot. Was that like a side mission? Lights, camera, action. I guess this would be like the main missions. I hit. All right, Peter. Hey, Pete. You ready to come by the foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from MJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Got off the phone with Harry, and this foundation thing could be interesting. There we go. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA level stuff. Yeah. Whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get this story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. You know, I just saw the Prowler thing. Does that mean that Peter can also do Prowler missions? Or is that, like, exclusively locked to Miles? So I just, up I've upgraded a few things, like the wetsuit, the traversing. Traversing's like the main focus, I guess, because I'm going to be using it a lot. Chief Clark, and everything okay? We're about to demolish a hospital that was damaged during Sandman's attack, but there's a lot of debris slowing down the technicians. If you're free, they could really use your webs to help keep the building stable while they work. Absolutely! Thanks. We'll keep working until you get here. So one thing for sure, it seems like the universe hates Spider-Man, but it only hates Peter. Things are going pretty good for Miles. I mean, he's... He's into music, right? And there's a guy that's also with the good tech. I just did like one of the missions for that. And he's on the good side. Good side. He is on good terms with them. Even though the interview call didn't go well, he was understanding. He's like, oh, it sounds like you're busy, but I want to do this in person. 
Peter over here gets fired from his job. And then, like, his renovation for his house, like, whoa, this place expensive. was expensive. It's just nothing's going right for him, man. Ma's over here is thriving. Peter's just wanting to. It's a pretty baggy shirt there. Wow, a tree. That's Emily's tree. Oh, oh, not just a tree. This is perfect. Mm, uh, maybe not just a tree. <laughs> I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this, but my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker. Hey, how's the white? So, Wait. What do you think? Huge. It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. Hey, come on now. And now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Particle accelerator? Energy something. Holy. Uh, Dad, Agriculture? He hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. Can I work here? All right. Hey, man. You know, I'm up in the job market. Seeing you boys together again. I just got fired. Right then. Have fun. I just got fired. I, hey, Get your are, badge you, out. are you opening? Let's go exploring. So, what is this again? So, the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Well, Harry. <laughs> This place, right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... He got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission, to heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Wait, are you serious? Oh, yeah, that's not possible. Possible. I I learned during the last milestone. Dr. Young. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? Uh, you must be you. Peter. So nice to meet you. That I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. Okay. Worldwide populations are in steep decline. Terrible. Primarily due to a significant predator. Wasp. Carnivorous bee wolf. Oh. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Want to see how? Bees are pretty important, but if one enters my house, I will kill it. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were trained to detect and attack bees. I can kill bees! Bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? Stop chasing me! Shooting them, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not their food. I'm amazing at this. You see me? I play the Call of Duties. Look at me go! Yes! You're done, Peter. A very Must destroy Hordens. <laughs> White woman spotted. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I don't know. That's I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. If I join, is this like a necessary I have to... Oh, hey, what's up, Miles? Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work. No, Miles, I didn't steal your food coupons. Better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. Terrible. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. 
to the heal idea. the world, right? Wow, crazy, I know. I've seen that Autumnus Glow before. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, hey, where's your arm? Can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh. Yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. What? Is, am, am I, is he supposed to be sick? It's because he's got that venom. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call. But, uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So they know? It's been a while since I played the first game, alright? And we know he's the lizard. What is this? A generator of some you kind? Really have a particle accelerator? Particle accelerator. We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. I don't know what this particle is. Incredible. It accelerates particles. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school to middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, shut up, Harry. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. What is that? So, base? Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field is. for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? No, I didn't. Oh, you have to. It's seriously one of my favorite spots in the whole building. It's so calming, and we're doing cool research inspired by the cellular structure of the koi fish's scales. Jeez, I'll be sure man. to go check that out. I see what you're saying. You know, I read something about nanotechnology and koi fish. Don't I don't exactly remember what, but I know they had to do something. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Foster care? Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Does he now? Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges. GMOs? Weather or an increase in pests. Are, are we doing GMOs? This, this okay. Aren't GMOs usually better? The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. So something Match like this. the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. This is kind of similar to Warframe. In One the step closer to Corpo feeding the world. <laughs> Beautiful yeah. work, Peter. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Damn! Wow! I know a rooftop you could use for a real-world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. This is, like, pretty simple well, stuff, though. Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show off. Okay. Your office. Enough with the mysteries. Our office. Harry. Now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. 
But don't decide just yet. Not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on. Where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Now, is this like all volunteer work? Are we gonna be paid for this? You know, Harry and kind of in the dumps, bro. Help a brother out. Wow. Love to see that you already got my style of empty pizza boxes. Half eaten and almost finished pizza. Oh man. Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. Your mom's hot. And it's my responsibility to save it. I don't know if it's yours, but... If you join me, God, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> oh, come on now. You flatter. Come on. Let's make my mom and make proud, huh? Hey, don't be using that pressure. It's amazing. It's amazing. But there's one thing. Yes. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> oh. One quick thing. <laughs> Welcome, Peter. Ooh. Could I like come here on my own time? Because if that's the case, then yeah, I don't see why not. I'm gonna need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Hey, of course, take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Yeah. But Coney Island later, yeah. You bet. See, if this is all about, like, I can do this voluntarily whenever I need or want to, I don't see why not. Something he's pretty passionate about. Oh, hey, I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the location, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. <laughs> Puns, I get it. Hey, sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was... I just got a new job. For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... it's incredible. Oh, so it is a job. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Hanky and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on! Don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but... duty calls. Trust me. Your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right. Good luck out there. Okay. So if it is a job, I don't see why you would be hesitant on to take it up. For starters, you made this project, right? And if you're getting paid for it, come on. You just got opened up to the market. That's amazing. It's a passion of yours. You get to work. Easy. Easy money. Easy money. See any bad guys? Maybe Miles and Genki had it wrong. Hey, I'm at the bridge, but there's no sign of our mysterious safari pirates. Oh, man, we were sure it was there. Sorry about the wild goose chase. Don't sweat it. We'll find him. Glittering? Oh. Come on, man. Huh? Wait. You don't think anyone outside is just looking, watching Spider-Man do this, right? Okay. 
and just 